Hi, I'm Sarah. Welcome to my channel. Recently, I started to share with you guys uh, my learning journey through the Google UX Design Certificate program. For those who don't know, Google recently released a series of uh, certificate programs in the technology field, and the UX design is one of them. The certificate program was made for those people who want to learn the skills they need to become a UX designer. Uh, in one of my videos, I explain why I decided to take these courses. Um, I talk a little bit what I'm gonna learn in the next couple months. And then I also explain what I had learned so far. Uh, so in that video, I mentioned that I was done with the part one, the course one, which is called Foundations of UX Design. And I mentioned that that course is more like an introductory course um, with the terms and the verbiage that you need uh, you need to know when you're in that field that people who are beginners might not know yet. And then I mentioned that I was in course two. In the course two of the certificate program, you will start to work in your first project, which is to design an app. Uh, and then Google uh, has this prompt where you can choose one idea to work on. And then I, I decided to work on a cough ordering app. There are a few reasons why I chose that as my topic, um, but the main reason is I worked before in a coffee shop as an assistant manager. Well, I know uh, cough ordering apps are really popular today, but we did not have one back then. And I know that would be really beneficial for our customers, so they could skip the line and they could order their coffee uh, faster and would also make our lives uh, easier there as well, because could help us with the flows of customer, with the flow of customers. And I know that could also make our lives as workers easier um, because that would make the flow uh, better for us. So that's why I decided to work on that. So when Course 2 started, um, they talked about design thinking framework. So that's a framework that you use to design better products by putting your user needs at first. Users are like the center of your design uh, process. So in this, uh, the design thinking method, you will start by empathize with the users. So to learn what their truly needs are, and then you define your problem, and then you start to ideate, to have ideas. So for the empathize phase in course two, I did some user interviews. Uh, so I talked with possible uh, users for my product, and I talked with them about if they had used uh, food ordering apps before or how was their experience in cop shops, uh, what they feel like, um, what are the problems, the common problems they have when they are ordering their coffee or food online and what they would like to have, things like that. Uh, from my user interviews, I had some insights then and I used that information about those users and about my targeted audience uh, to create personas. Personas, and you learn that through the course, they are like fictional characters that reflect your possible audience. So when you are designing personas, and in the course we do three of them, uh, you decide like if they're age groups, um, their age groups, if they are studying or not, which type of work they have, how is their lifestyle, if they live with someone or not, so when you are designing your product, you can really try to address the needs of those people. Um, so I designed my personas, I had uh, made some user journeys and things like that. Then I really defined my problem and create my problem statement. Uh, and then I started the ideate uh, part of it. And that's where I stopped my last video. So for the ideate phase, I had a few uh, activities on that uh, the course suggests me to do. One of them, and was the one I had the most fun doing it, was conducting a competitive analysis. So I chose three other um, ordering apps. Some of them would be my direct competitors. So I chose Starbucks and Dunkin' Donuts for those. And then I chose another indirect competitor and I use a um, fast food chain for that. So I went to their apps and then I was really analyzing step by step of the user journey there. 
Um, so I went to the onboarding, I checked how was their sign up page, uh, how was the menu and how they could add items or make alterations, customizations to their orders there. How was the payment process? There was any rewarding uh, program there. So this way I could really see what were their strengths, maybe what one app had the other didn't have, and then think about improvements, uh, opportunities that. So that gave me some ideas as well. Uh, another method that they use, it's called the crazy eight. And you guys might have heard that a bit about that already. So you mainly, you get a piece of paper, fold into eight pieces, and every little piece there is like one screen of your app. And then you start to sketch uh, some of your ideas. So when I was doing my uh, competitor's analysis, I noticed that they don't really optimize the payment process. Uh, so some of them didn't have the option to pay with Google Pay and Apple Pay. And I know that's becoming more popular and it's also easier for the customer too. It's faster for them. Um, some of them don't do like, you know, when you use your fingerprint uh, to pay uh, for the item. So some of them didn't have that. So I sketched that on my craze eights as well. That was it for my ID8 phase. And then, now I'm happy to tell you guys, I'm done with the course three of the Google UX certificate program as well. The course three is called Build Wireframes and Low Fidelity Prototypes. So after I was done with my ideation part, uh, I started to drawing or to sketch uh, paper wireframes. And in the Google course, we really say how that's important because it's a really efficient way to start putting your ideas into wireframes, but it's also like an easy method to make uh, iterations. So I started with my paper wireframes and then after that, I started to make those wireframes digital by using Figma. So in this course, uh, they start to show you how to use Figma. Uh, they show you how to make the basic shapes that you're gonna need uh, when you're creating your screens. Um, they do mention about uh, the grid, but that's in writing. They don't have a video for that and I wish they had because that would make my life easier and I think my design would be more organized since the beginning. But it was really helpful for me to have the paper wireframes before putting the computer. Uh, that made my processor faster. So that was really nice too. And I'm getting really comfortable with Figma now and learning how to use that. So I create my wireframes on Figma and then I start doing the prototypes uh, part there. When I was first to learn about the prototypes, how to create those connections between one screen to the other, I thought that was really easy. Um, but then I, I noticed because my app is complex, has many screens, how I could easily uh, forget to maybe connect one screen back to the other or to design the multiple uh, possibilities that my app has. I was a really little bit, I was like, oh my gosh, I wish I had chosen another project to work on first because I chose that one, the cost ordering app, because I thought I would learn a lot as well. But there are a lot of possibilities when you are working a cough ordering app because people can make customizations, they can add uh, new ingredients to their drink and there are so many possibilities like for flavors, for syrups and for sauces. So that was a little bit of a challenge for me. Um, but I was able to, to do my wireframes and then to work in my prototype. I made a simple version of that but then later I will add the other flavors as well. Mm -hmm. And I'm just starting course four right now, which is called Conduct, Conduct a UX Research and Test Early Concepts. Um, this Google uh, Design Certificate program really focus on the importance of the UX research and, tech, and testing your concepts early with the users. So I think that's a good thing to learn. I'm really excited about that. Uh, I have been posting more about the course, about my learning and the challenge I have been facing. Uh, through the certificate program on Medio and on my Instagram as well. So I'm gonna leave the link in the description box below if you guys wanna follow along. Uh, but I will keep posting videos here um, to share with you guys how everything's going and what I'm learning the way. Uh, if you guys have any questions, please leave in the description box below and I'll be happy to help you guys. 
that's it. If you guys want to learn more about the Google uh, UX Design Certificate Program and follow me on my UX design journey, please uh, subscribe to the channel and I see you guys next video. Bye!